How you going? Well, uh, it's November here in New Zealand right now. I'm just heading down to the beach with my binos. I'm looking for killer whale because they come in this time of the year. I've been going down each morning. I haven't seen it yet, but it won't be too far away. They'll be coming in. They're looking for stingray. They'll just smash them, take the liver out of them, and a bit of uh, flesh, and it's an amazing, amazing thing to witness. But this year it's a bit different because this year I have a drone. In the past, I've had my boat and you're not allowed to get too close to them. I did in fact uh, about five years ago, I was being a dumb human being and I got uh, reprimanded by the Department of Conservation and rightfully so, they shouldn't be bothered. I was being stupid, being a silly human being. But it's different. It's a different game now because I've got a drone brought to me by my subscribers. I can fly 100 metres above them and I can zoom right in without affecting the birds or the killer whale. So let's go look for killer whale. Perfect day for them to be out there, but there's nothing out there. I'll be down here for about half an hour and still nothing. There you go. My dad just called me and said, Son, there's orca on the bay. And uh, I've got the drone, so hopefully we can get some footage. Stay tuned.
landed the good bastard drone and got the most epic footage of Killer Whale racing along. Don't actually get him catching the stingray, but he comes up with it in his mouth. You can see all the birds feeding all the chunks of meat coming up. I've always wanted to know what it's like because I've come along the beach the next day and seen all the stingray washed up. I always wonder what's going on. Now you can actually see it from the drone, so I can't wait to get home. I'm actually supposed to be flying to Christchurch like in 20 minutes, so I'm making myself late, but that was worth it. So I'm stoked, I'm absolutely pumped. It was wicked, eh, Joe? Good man. Wicked, man. What seems like a waste lying on the beach becomes a food source to the blackback gull. Seagulls and other seabirds. But here's the first victim here. You can clearly see where the orca's taken a big chunk right out of the side and teared its liver out. Wow, look at that. Amazing. You can even see the orca's teeth mark right in the front here where it's grabbed the stingray in the front. Teeth mark here. Let's turn it over and see what it's like on the other side. And here's the massive teeth mark here. This guy's had both of his wings bitten off, and there's evidence that uh, maybe the old orca has also fed on his flesh, although it could have been taken from other fish and seabirds. He's a big fella. There's his stinger there. Razor sharp, oh, deadly. Another spike there as well, deadly. He's been well eaten. This is the third big stingray we've found in the last 100 meters. And for every stingray we see washed up on the beach here, you can be sure in the shallows just a bit further out, there'd be another nine or 10 easily. This is a fraction of what they've been catching. It's a massive fish. I'd say probably from the tip of its tail to its nose, it's an easy two metres long. Bob's not quite sure about it, are you, mate? No, boss, I'm not sure about that. What is that? It's a stingray, bud. Well, it's a dead stingray now. Well, that's number four. And the blackback gulls have already started to feast on it. Not for you, Bob. That's number five. Number six is not too far away, right over here. It's a big fish. You get an idea next to Bob. Bob's about 40 kg. Look at the size of that. It's a massive fish. And that is number seven. And it's possibly the actual one that we were filming with the drone above because it's in the same location, but we can't really be sure. But there's a good chance it is too. Number eight. And yeah, number nine, not too far away. Over here. You can clearly see the teeth marks in the front. All these holes. And this is the remains of number ten. And all it's just really left is the tip of a wing. A massive big wing but you can see the teeth marks clearly. There's number 11. Now this shark, which has no evidence at all of a fish hook mark in its mouth anywhere that I can see, quite possibly also uh, got chomped by a orca.
and that is a rig which is good eating. It's what we use for fish and chips here in New Zealand. Hey Bob. Yeah. And that massive stingray which is absolutely huge is number 12. Look at the size of that. It is massive and clearly you can see the orca's teeth marks there on it. That is a big fish. If you worry about getting stung by a stingray, you probably should be, because if they sting you, they bloody hurt. It's very rare for them to kill people, although they have done. You probably heard of the famous bloke Steve Irwin, who sadly got uh, he got a barb to the heart. Quite a few barbs actually, because when they sting, their back end comes up and it goes like a hundred mile an hour, like a sewing machine needle. That's what they do. Anyway, I just want to show you what to do if you're swimming in New Zealand at a time like I'm going for a swim today. I'm heading down up there now, and there are stingray out there, so. And I'll show you this dead sting right here. When you're going out the beach, don't lift your feet and walk like this. Because if you stand on one, he's going to naturally lift up his stinger here. He's going to try and protect himself. So when you're walking out into the water, you've got to be careful there's a lot of wasps around this dead sting right? but just move your feet through the sand like this. So when you actually hit him, he'll just bugger off. He's not likely to sting you. So a sweeping motion with your feet, and that way they're less likely to get stung. The only trouble I've ever had out here was about 15 years ago I stood on a carpet shark and it bit me. And I got 11 tiny teeth marks to my foot, but it looked like I'd been through a blackberry bush. Honestly, just nothing at all, because they've got very fine teeth. But uh, stingray have stung people, and it bloody hurts. And their sting is venomous too. There's lots of little barbs on their sting. Hey guys and girls, Clay here. If you enjoyed my video, then smash the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, then hit the subscribe button to be notified. If you want to help me fund these videos, then join up my Patreon. Every tiny little bit helps. Take it easy, be good. If you can't be good, be careful. See you later.